children of gods, and heed my tale of time's beginning. All was dark. There was no sand. There was no sea. No earth, nor sky. No grass. This green came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir, cruelly killed. Yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made. The world you walk and war upon. friend. My sword is grown greedy. I'm ready to fight. So nice having all of these hearty folk in our home. Dirty long chips. Give it here. I'll pass it on. My father asked me, Sigurd. Suit yourself. But you're not getting any mead. Like a sailor works through my hammer. <laughs> Speak with the king. Hold it up to the light. Show him the fine details. See there? I etched his name in runes on the outer band. You'll show him? Mm -hmm. You are just like your father, little berserker. Skull to you. Skull! You see? She agrees.
So, you have the ring? Good. This was worn by your grandfather in a battle on the northern way. Mother? Yes. Can we show us to get the can stones we stabbed yesterday? That's a good idea. That's in the morning. First light. forever I am pledged to you <laughs> hearken well in hall of kings on ocean steed my words gain wings oh then speed I forth will bring for noble deeds that I must sing Raymond slain, Valkyrie awaits. Rewards for strain to our little takes. And horns resound the mighty horn. For those who fight! For those who fight! Ready yourself, men! Not you, Faber. Not just yet. It is foretold. The curtains are raised. Nothing is true until it is severed from the branches of Yggdrasil. Die a coward here before your people, and I will spare the rest. Fine. 
Fight, my love! Do not listen! If I give my life, will you spare my clan? You have my word. No. No, Baron. No, Aaron! Pick up your axe! <laughs> Too. I can let the Animus modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. All right, I'll lock it in and push ahead to a time where these streams are more synchronized. have you been chasing me, Wolf Kissed? Seventeen winters? Eighteen? Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> you remember this? Oh, your father's axe. The weapon of a coward. A scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave, humiliated. Your death will be a lonely one. Kill the rest of his crew! Make them suffer! Ava Wolf Kiss is no more! That name is dead to this world! You will be worth your weight in silver! Ha. Uh. To the ship! Uh. You move, and I take your eyes, you hear me? Wind's blowing from the south. We can tack north, then cut west. Now, what did I just tell you? <laughs> Never 
believe this. No feast for you, Sunan. My crew is in danger. You must be my eyes. My crew is in danger. I need to reach them. not be seen in this area.
I need your eyes, my friend. Stretch your wings, Sula. A clash of iron. There's fighting nearby. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Kyotve tried to sell me off. A mistake he will regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Davals Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship? You glory hound! You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you! I could storm the beach then. Slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I will meet you by the ship. Shirtless warriors crawl through Arvel's nest like lice. If I use the main gate, I may have attention. Have a look, Sunin. Best not to draw attention here. should be inside.
be an opening in the roof. like that, and my axe will miss your neck. Unpleasant for both of us. If I'm to die, I want to make a mess of it, Buckrout. and stick an axe in my hand. I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You, lay that axe aside or die by mine. You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist. But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. Odin! I will sell you to hell herself! Kneel, wolf kissed, and I will spare your life. Shut your hole and fight! Die, you sack of shit! should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it no! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! Find us. What? Oh, yes, of course.
missed. You have even if. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come, we take back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice. Show me. Let's 
Sail! Sail! Catch the wind! Rather silent, Eivor. Anything to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is that to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, boneheaded, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Yes, sail! Sickness! Eivor, Sickness! look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island! Shut his men. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. Gyotve will come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright, Wolf Kiss. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your all father, sail. he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. Let's see you, old friend.
about this lad, my friend. Run up the sail! King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course you will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right, until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. What will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. That we attacked Jotvis fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there is a skull to dare sing that verse, it will be his last song. returns and not half dead we thought we had lost you eivor for good this time a warm welcome as always randry you look like red and shit what happened nothing to crow about except to say the men who delayed us are dead and how are you well enough though i have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king he is not happy with you i expected as much and what of sigurd has he returned from his raids my husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kyotr's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait.
A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my... feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Looking rough you are. Welcome home. Eivor, did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat and a full crew. That is worth more than silver. That doesn't count. You need silver. And jewels. <laughs> Shut up, Ralph. How do you know? You never went on a raid. Just shut up. anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. I lack the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow? That could work. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. I'll recall what you taught ere I enter the fray. 
A fine answer. Perfect rhyme and a lovely cadence to match my line. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... ...then I will spit in your face and I will bash in your skull. Not bad, not bad. The rhyme is there, the sound is good, but... ...consider that I said you were silly and you told me you would kill me. At times, it might be best to remain on theme. Something to consider. Last one. So go, then, and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I look forward to becoming far more than you can bear. A good rhyme, but a bad structure. Close, you're close. There's still much for you to learn about flighting, but I'm confident you'll pick it up. Happy to help you learn, if you'd like to come back again. Perhaps I will. Thank you, Alvis. Something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Uh, five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunilda? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. Anything else? That's all for now. Return any time.
It must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. Show me what lies ahead.